This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. SCP-244, Object Class is Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. When not in testing, SCP-244-1 is to be placed in a room with its own thermostat, kept at a temperature of no less than 38 degrees Celsius. This room must also have its own ventilation system to provide constant air circulation. SCP-244-1 will rest on top of a scale attached to an alarm so that any abrupt changes in weight from SCP-244-1's cap's sudden removal or from Dash 1's displacement may be immediately detected. If the alarm goes off, Dash 1 is to be immediately retrieved, capped, and placed back on the scale. In the event that Dash 1 spends longer than four hours uncapped and active before retrieval is possible, initiate procedure 244-2123-B. Description. SCP-241-1 is a Tunisian-style earthenware jug made of common ceramics mixed with traces of data expunged and decorated with silver filigree. The inside of SCP-244-1 always has an internal temperature of negative 37 degrees Celsius and a 125% humidity regardless of external conditions. Persons handling Dash 1 invariably describe it as cold to the touch. Dash 1 includes a cap of identical make and style to the jar itself. When SCP-244-1 is uncapped, condensed water vapor will flow from its mouth. The rate at which the vapor emanates increases if Dash 1 is left lying on its side or suspended upside down. This vapor is identical in composition to ice fog, with a temperature of negative 37 degrees Celsius and 125% humidity as it exits Dash 1. Over time, this fog will disperse through whatever area Dash 1 is in, lowering ambient temperatures and raising humidity levels proportionally. The amount of time it takes for Dash 1 to fill an area with fog varies depending on the size of the space, the amount of moisture already in the air, and the temperature at the time Dash 1 is opened. If Dash 1 is left uncapped outside of any structure, it will still produce water vapor and lower the surrounding temperature. However, the effect may be considerably diminished or enhanced by the effects of the sun, wind, local topography, and or local vegetation. In any space where SCP-244-1 has changed the environment temperature and humidity to negative 37 degrees Celsius and a 125% humidity, there is a chance of encountering SCP-244-2, directly proportional to the amount of time that the area has been fogged over. Dash 2 is a mobile, gaseous entity, visible only as a dense cloud of grayish fog. Whether it simply uses Dash 1's own fog as camouflage or is actually a part of said fog is still undetermined. Thermal imaging shows that Dash 2 is far colder than its surrounding environment. How Dash 2 achieves locomotion is not known, but testing and observation has made it clear that Dash 2 usually remains motionless unless there is a source of heat nearby. SCP-244-2 is attracted to any source of heat energy and will move to envelop such sources. Because of Dash 2's own inordinately cold internal temperature, any object that comes into direct contact with it usually flash freezes. Biological heat sources, including humans, are invariably killed by the flash freezing effect and mechanical or electronic devices ice over. Dash 2 appears to grow in size as it consumes thermal energy. In a sufficiently large, beclouded area, there may be multiple instances of SCP-244-2. SCP-244-2 will not attempt to consume heat sources with a temperature equal or greater than 600 degrees Celsius and will actively move away from such sources if they are brought closer to it. For this reason, Dash 2 is easily repelled with burning wood or other combustive fuel fires. Dash 2 has been observed to disperse if exposed to great concentrations of heat in a short period of time. History SCP-244-1 was first discovered in the basement of a recently emptied Chaos Insurgency-occupied military base, where it had completely filled the basement level with ice fog and at least two manifestations of SCP-244-2. It was retrieved by Dr. Morris with the assistance of Mobile Task Force Beta-62. It is unknown whether the Chaos Insurgency had placed Dash-1 in the basement as some sort of diversionary tactic, or if they themselves were looking for it. Addendum. Whatever SCP-244-2 is composed of, it is certainly not normal water vapor. At those temperatures, mirror water would surely become a solid, as indeed would most gases. 
However, taking samples of SCP-244-2's material has proven difficult as it is both gaseous and freezes most devices applied to it. I suspect that this may be related to the data expunged in SCP-244-1, but studying that mineral has a host of problems all its own. Dr. Morris